Hey friends, welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're going to be making spinach stuffed cremini mushrooms with wild ancient grains and carrots. Let's get started. So here is an overview of the ingredients that we'll be using today. Fresh baby spinach, white cremini mushrooms, dehydrated mushroom powder, onion powder, and garlic salt or garlic powder, Worcestershire sauce, pesto, miso, a sweet onion, lemon, cashews, wild ancient grains, garlic, butter, salt and pepper, nutritional yeast, and panko flakes. We're gonna start by washing our mushrooms and our carrots. You've probably heard a lot of people say that you shouldn't wash your mushrooms with water, that you should just brush them off with a paper towel. And that's fine if you just wanna remove the substrate, but I actually wanna remove the idea of other people's hands being on my food. <laughs> So I use water. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is remove the stems from the mushroom caps. And you just wanna push it to one side and then to the other, and that removes it very cleanly. This is one of my husband's favorite meals. It's hearty and earthy, which is why I chose to pair it with a root vegetable, such as carrots. An option that I failed to exercise here is to marinate the mushroom caps in a Ziploc bag with two tablespoons of soy sauce while the other ingredients are being prepared. You can even do this the night before, which is when I would begin soaking the grains. This is a good dish to make on a cold day since the oven will be on for quite some time. Now that we've diced up our onion, we're gonna slice and then mince four cloves of garlic. Next, we're gonna saute the onions and the garlic. And while that's going, we're gonna start our spinach. I can only fit about one pound at a time in the pot, so I'm gonna put a pound in until it cooks down, and then I'll add the second pound. Meanwhile, our spinach has started to cook down. I'm gonna give it a stir to make sure the leaves on the bottom don't burn. And I'm gonna add some more. Cooked spinach remains one of my favorite vegetables since early childhood, thanks largely to the influence of Popeye the Sailor Man. I never cared for mushrooms, on the other hand, until very recently, when my husband and I started eating more of a plant-based diet. You can add a little water as you go along, but you want to cook your mushroom, onion, and garlic down until they're pretty brown, until the mushrooms have given up most of the moisture and they've started to caramelize along with the onions. Meanwhile, as soon as your carrots come to a boil, you're going to turn it all the way down to low on a simmer, keep it covered, and let it cook slowly. And we're going to continue to cook the spinach until most of the water has cooked off. Take the lid off at this point so that it can start to evaporate down. For the ancient grains, I actually soak them overnight. Um, this is a cup and a half, but it swelled up to two. To that, we're going to add one tablespoon of mushroom powder, two tablespoons of onion powder, and two teaspoons of garlic salt. We're also going to add a tablespoon and a half of miso paste, 
a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of salt and pepper to taste, and two cups of water. At this point, I'm going to turn the heat down to medium, and we're going to let it simmer until the grains have absorbed all of the water. Cover and turn the heat down. I've got it on about in between a four and a five. Meanwhile, the spinach is getting a little drier. It's almost there. So you want it where, see, I don't know if you can see that. You want it where, when you pull it aside, there isn't a lot of water pooling. This isn't quite done. And I just kind of Chop it up with the spoon. While we wait for the spinach to finish cooking down, let's make our cashew sour cream. We start by soaking our cashews, which I did at the very beginning of prepping, so they've been soaking for a while in hot water and the water's already cool now. And I'm just gonna drain that water off. This is a half a cup of soaked cashews. To that I'm gonna add one quarter cup of lemon juice. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and half a teaspoon of salt. Blend on high until creamy. To that, I'm going to add a quarter cup of water. To our cashew sour cream, we're going to add one quarter of a cup of pesto. We've cooked down our spinach. It's kind of dark here. I guess you probably can't see. We've cooked it down until there's basically no water. And that's what two pounds of spinach becomes. To that, we're going to add our cashew sour cream and pesto mix. This takes some time, but I'm making a lot for two people. In truth, we like to eat them the next day for lunch as well. In my opinion, they're even better served cold. Now that we've got our mushroom stuff, let's take a look at our rice. Our carrots are still simmering away. I'm going to line the baking dish, which is just a large Pyrex dish, with parchment paper. And one trick to make it fit is to squish it up. And then open it back. And I will allow it to conform to the shape of the pan. Like 
the parchment paper just makes it so much easier to clean up because nothing sticks, nothing burns. You want to spread this out until it's pretty even. And we're going to start stacking our mushrooms. You might want to measure your mushrooms first to make sure you have enough to cut a uh, fit in your pan. Obviously I made a few too many, but we're just going to shove them in and let them, let them do their thing. Um, you want to cover them with a generous coating of panko flakes. And for the first 45 minutes, we're going to cover them with soil. We're going to bake it at 350 for one hour. After 45 minutes, we'll take the foil off. Thanks for joining us for dinner. It's been fun to cook together. Like this video if you did. Let me know in the comment section if you've made it. And subscribe for more videos like this. And that's what's for dinner.